What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers Living. I'm so excited. I, that sounded like I was really excited, didn't it? That was very melancholy. I'm so excited. I'm excited. Here's why I'm excited. Uh, this is the new Modern Flames Orion fireplace. Highly anticipated. The question is, is how cool is it? Only one way to find out. That's to unbox it and see what it looks like. So don't forget, if you're in the Denver metro, Denver metro area, come to our showroom and you can see all these products for yourself. Or if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. Helps us out a ton when you guys do that. Don't even know how much it helps. Hit TikTok, hit all the things. So it's really exciting times in the electric fireplace market. The Dimplex Ignite Bold just came out. You guys saw my video on that. And then this guy just came out. This is like a sample they sent us of the 52 and the other sizes are gonna start trickling in. And I'm really anxious to see it because I've only seen production models. So this is a real model and it's a little bit tighter and better than the production models. And I love the production models. I mean, the prototype model. So I'm only assuming this thing's gonna be cooler. But essentially there's a big change in electric fireplaces with just really cool new stuff coming out. I think electric fireplaces is the fastest growing category. Um, it's obviously with certain parts of the country banning natural gas, that's only gonna continue to grow, the electric fireplace field. In fact, other manufacturers, you've heard me talk about this in videos, they're running as fast as they can to the electric fireplace market because they know. And there's a couple leaders in the industry, I would say it'd be Dimplex and Modern Flames that are leading innovation. And like I said, we just reviewed the bold. Now it's time to review the Orion, which I suspect is gonna be one of the best electric fireplaces I've ever seen. Now, hopefully once I turn this on, it's gonna back that up. So just a little side note on the boxing, you can see there's a ton of packaging here. Uh, Modern Flames literally runs drop test. I've watched them do it. And uh, in, down in Phoenix, they run drop tests on everything. And if it fails drop tests, they repackage it. And so, I mean, it's a small thing, but it's nice to know that usually it's gonna show up in really good shape. There are exceptions to that rule, but it's not a, it's not a, a small detail that should go unnoticed. Whew. Man, they don't joke around with their packaging, which is good news for customers. It's gonna show up in good shape. All right, so this is the 52 inch. It comes in a variety of sizes. This is the Orion Multi. There's also the Orion Slim. So we have the Multi we're demoing. Uh, the flame is the same in both units. There are some differences as far as obviously one being slim, one being deeper, which we'll talk about. But for uh, the review's sake, you could apply what you see on the flame to the Slim, if you're interested in the Slim, and I'll talk about the differences here in a bit. All right, we gotta talk a little bit of a backstory on this before we get to actually showing you what the Flame is, because it's important to the story of the fireplace. So like I said, um, there's been a lot of innovation with electric fireplaces lately. None better, in my opinion, from what I've seen so far from this guy. But um, essentially, electric fireplaces are really kind of broken down into three categories. So the first category is gonna be your standard LED, you know, just two-dimensional LED flame. And I'll, honestly, I would say 95% of electric fireplaces utilize this technology, including the Ignite Bold and the regular Ignite. If you look in our showroom, I, I bet you, same thing, 95, 96% of them are using LED flame technology. Then, several years ago, probably over a decade ago, uh, Dimplex came out with the Optimist using water vapor. Um, what this did, if you look at this fireplace here, Chris, just kind of show them a little glimpse. So you guys have probably seen my videos, but the, the cool advantage with water vapor is it actually creates a three-dimensional flame. So you get away from that two-dimensional object that you typically see with uh, your traditional electric fireplace. But also, Dimplex being the innovators they are, came out with like a third category, probably eight or nine years ago, called the Opti-V. And you guys have watched my videos on that. It was really popular for a while and then fizzled out. That guy was a virtual fireplace. So what that 
that did is instead of water, instead of uh, 2D LED lighting, they use LCD backgrounds. Um, obviously with technology advancing there, now we're into like the 4Ks resolution. And what it did is it made a really realistic image as the flame instead of just using regular lights. And that solved a lot of problems because the water vapor isn't for everybody. People always can't run water to it. Whatever the case may be, it just added another element um, in the evolution of the technology of electric fireplaces. So what uh, Modern Flames has done is they, I think, have really cracked the code with virtual fireplaces. Because why did the OptiV go away? They developed this technology eight or nine years ago. It was too expensive. They had two sizes, small and large, and only had a nine inch window. And they never, ever, ever developed that technology further. I think they were onto something and they blew it. In fact, the technology is so old. Let's take a little field trip. I'm gonna show you a little video uh, of myself reviewing the original OptiV many, many years ago. All right, so I wanted to show you this video just to show you how old, how long ago Dimplex came out with this new virtual technology and listen to how excited I am. Hello, my name is Trevor. Who the heck is that guy, by the way? What we have here is Dimplex's brand new electric fireplace. My hair was darker you then. Uh, you know, it doesn't look like much at first, but it's brand new technology that's just out. Uh, I will warn you, it'll be the coolest looking, most realistic. I will warn you? What am I warning you from? That it looks cool? Like, come on. Who's this guy? Gosh, I'm embarrassed. Seven years ago. So that's seven years old. So that was the small. And then I debuted this little guy. What's up with that shirt? I mean, come on. Those khaki jeans, you kidding me? So this is the duet. So, gosh, I'm embarrassed of these. <laughs> uh, but what you can see is it's two sizes, small and a large. Whoops, going again. It's such a, it was such a cool technology and it was one of the first ones to really incorporate that that, like I said, that virtual technology. The problem was, is they had a small and a large, it was crazy expensive, um, and the window was only nine inches and it had no heat. So it really lacked purpose and really didn't fit a lot of clients. And Dimplex, years later, I saw them developing cool new stuff with it, and then for whatever reason, they scrapped it. They just never came out with anything new or cool. The reason I showed you this is uh, Modern Flames has really developed this technology and, and really hybrided it with some really cool technology and really taking it to the next level. So let's go, let's go finish our unboxing video. All right, so looks like we got this, all of our media and everything, got our install manual. You know what they say, the first thing to do with an install manual, right? Don't need that. Just kidding, we probably do. Uh, looks like we got a remote, and it looks like they give us crushed glass and logs. So these look like standoffs, like for our framing. That's just my guess, you know, depending on your framing thickness or your stone thickness, these are gonna go here and they're gonna, you know, screw to your studs. So we got our framing standoffs for when we build that into the wall. That's good to know. Oh yeah, there's our logs. Ugh. Look at that, nice and numbered for us. Our standoffs, if we're going to make it open-ended. So I'll just show you this quick. So this is a flat front unit. These side panels come off and see this piece of glass here? It's just an open end. So if you wanted a, just one corner open, you would take off this and then install this here. And then again, your finishing material would come to these standoffs. My only qualm with Modern Flames with the name is it has the name multi, which is true. It's a multi-sided unit if you want it to be. And I had, I've already been selling these on pre-order and I had one client, she couldn't wrap her head around it. She's like, I don't need multi, I need single side. And I'm like, I know, but this is the one you want because it's deeper. You know, it's, it has the better heat option, which I'll get into compared to the Slim. So out of the two, get this one. And she's like, yeah, but I don't need, I don't need multi. So ignore the name multi in there. 
you can do it single side, you can do left corner, you can do right corner, um, or both sides open and have a true like three-sided type fire ploy. So however you want to install it, don't let the name confuse you. All right, let's see what color glass they gave us. Black glass, it's just the easiest. I'd say, you know, 90% of either clear or black, one of the two. What's kind of cool with why I kind of like black is you can see that this thing has lights under it. See these lights? I think when you do black, black is cool because it it kind of looks more like, when you shine lights through black, it looks more like coals. So what I kind of like about this is everything is numbered. Sometimes they, some, I've put way too many lock sets together than I can care to count, but sometimes they're not numbered and you just have to like guess off of the picture and that's no fun. 14, look at that little guy, cute little guy. Let's get them nice and tucked in there. All right, so I got the logs in and I downloaded the Modern Flames app. So that's a thing that this thing has is it has Wi-Fi. So it's built in Wi-Fi and uh, the, the little remote works, but I promise you this app's way better. So let's fire it on. Now here's why I wanted to show you it with the log. So you can see it kind of has a mirrored background and that works really, really well with the logs because what's it doing, Chris, to the logs? It's making it look like there's more logs. Yeah, it kind of makes it look like there's logs on the back and then the flame is kind of coming up out of the middle, which is what all of these try to emulate. Like if you look here at the original modern flames that were blocking, the problem is, is that that flames on um, the total backdrop and it's so far back, it looks like a background shot. So by putting that mirror in there, it does create some reflection, but it's like a risk reward thing. And I think the reward outweighs the risk in the sense that it makes it look a lot more real. Okay, now because of that reflection, I don't know if you noticed when I was taking the glass on and off, but the glass has a tint to it. So that darker tint, helps really drastically reduce the amount of reflection coming off the firebox. So let's talk flames. One, we already know that the, um, it has built-in Wi-Fi, which is wonderful. That's a great feature that this thing has. But like we talked about with the OptiV, the problem with that is it had one flame, had one log, it had one background, which was bricks. Not everyone wanted bricks and it had one size. So this comes in a bunch of sizes, comes in slim or large. And now the way they've really sort of hammered this technology home, in my opinion, where they really hit a home run is they give us different flame styles. So let's go to style one. And let's just go to the yellow color. Oh, we're already on style one. Let's try style two, just so you can see the difference. So there's the yellow color of style two. Now, what's so cool about these flames is I'll show you some overlays here, but Modern Flames literally went into a movie studio. Um, I think next door they were filming ESPN. And they had these shot, these, these stills, these flame, they literally created fire and had flames shot with a, a movie studio. And then they sort of took this footage and put it into the fireplace. And to me, that's a really cool backstory because it shows the amount of work and innovation that's going on right here um, in the United States that was happening in Phoenix. The other cool thing is, is some of these are wood burning flames and some are gas. So for example, here's our gas flame and we'll do it in yellow. Now their gas flame, what they did is they took the Grand Canyon burners that they had just recently developed. They really liked the burner system in it, the way the flames looked in it. And they used the Grand Canyon burners in the movie studio to shoot this. I think that's awesome because they're using their own products that they developed to create the fire. Now it's cool too is it also has orange, we can go blue, we can go green, purple, white. I don't know, what, what do you like on that one? I kind of like just the basic yellow. Same. Now within these flame patterns, we also have other options. So flame speed, we can go slow, we can go default, or we can go fast. 
and the flame volume, we can go medium, high, or off. I don't know if that's really doing anything. I don't know what that does. What do you like, fast? I like it fast. Yeah, I like it fast too. And then we have this sort of, let's say you're in uh, blue, you can always just hit this default and it goes back to like the stock settings. And then again, we can go to fast. But there's one of these, this is the one I wanted to show you. Check out how awesome this is. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but this one is a wood burning fire and see the actual smoke and the sparks? You see real sparks and smoke coming out. Is the camera getting that? See that big piece of ash that just blew up there, Chris? I see the ash? Yeah. You see all the sparks? Oh, I see the smoke too. Yeah, yeah there's the smoke. So I think that that's awesome. So if we go high flame volume, but now within that, we have down lighting, which we can, which is night light that's gonna shine down. And again, we have a full color wheel. And you can just kind of go till you find one you like, and we can dim it. Or we can turn it on a color cycle and it's gonna cycle through colors all on its own. Go night mode. I guess that turns the flame off. Hmm, I don't know. Do you like a top? I kind of like that top light. That's good. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep playing with it until I find the exact combo that I personally like. I think that's too bright. I don't know. I kind of like that purple color. And then we also have ember bed coloring. So there's orange. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dim the orange a little bit. I don't know, I think I'm getting close. What do you think, Chris? I like it. So there it is with no top light. Uh, I kind of like some lighting because I feel like it gives some good attention to the detail to the logs. Pink, dark pink, teal, purple, green, yellow, blue, red, maybe red. I kind of like that. I think that looks the most realistic. So anyways, you can see it does a ton aesthetically. It will pretty much meet the needs of any homeowner, what they prefer aesthetically. So we have three flame patterns and within each flame pattern, we have six colors. So we end up with a total of 18 different flame options. Now it's really cool. You guys know how I said this thing has Wi-Fi. There's going to be more and more flame patterns that are developed by modern flames over time and your particular unit can be updated to incorporate more flame patterns as this product continues to evolve. That's stinking awesome. It's not gonna obsolete your product. I can see them doing five, six, seven, eight different color patterns. And then we have all the down lighting, we have all the up lighting, we have the reflection, which is gonna make it look three dimensional. We have the tinted glass, which helps with the glare. Oh, heating. So it has a, a 110 heater, which is a 5,000 BTU heater. This can be wired to 220 to give you a 220 heater. Also has a built-in timer. And then you can also hear the flame volume. So it has sound. I don't know if my mic's picking it up, but we can turn that on or off. And I haven't really paid attention to it. So let me listen to it, see what I think of it. I think it sounds pretty real. Now let me see if the, if the uh, sound changes depending on the flame. No, sounds the same. So they didn't actually record the sound in the fireplace. Now, that would be tough, just kidding. Yeah, gas fire, you wouldn't even hear anything. So that doesn't make any sense. And you can turn that on or off. So here's what I love about this and here's why I think they hit an absolute home run. This technology has been super under, underdeveloped. Like I said, like I showed you in my original video for eight years, it's sat static. And it's nice to see something different than just your standard LED flame. It's, I love it. I love that we're seeing innovation, product innovation in, in an area that's really, really been lacking. Um, it's easy for anyone to make a two-dimensional fire, electric fireplace now. Anybody can do it. Literally, anybody is doing it. A lot of people are doing it. Like I said in one of my videos, they're buying them from you know, private parties and then rebranding re it as their own fireplace. So they're a dime a dozen. It's nice to see the type of R&Ding, and here's what I like about it. When I saw the prototype, not that my opinion's important, um, that important, it's not important at all. But 
they invited people to come look at this thing. I said, what feedback do you have for us? What do you want to see? What do you want to see incorporated in this fireplace? I got a chance to kind of give my two cents. And um, I think that was important because a lot of times people develop products without really trying to hear what the consumer wants. And so one of my things was, is it seems like th there's a million electric fireplaces out there that um, they're, all, they, they're great, but they're missing one little thing the customer wants. So for example, the OptiV didn't have heat. So if you wanted a heater, wouldn't matter. Like that, that fireplace was out. Some people love sound. If you didn't have sound, then that fireplace is out. Some people love technology. They love Wi-Fi. No, if it doesn't have Wi-Fi, that's out. Some people want a 220 heater. This literally has everything. Heat, 110, 220, Wi-Fi, most realistic flame, sound, the nice reflection, which is gonna make, make a three-dimensional view of your log set, the tinted window. What am I missing, Chris? Multicolor, eight colors, six colors, I mean. Multicolor ember bed, multicolor downlighting, open corner, single-sided, three-sided, like, can I keep going? Is that, do I need to keep coming up with features? That's what's so awesome about it. Like it literally checks every single box. So when a customer is like, I want the most realistic, this is what you want. I want Wi-Fi. this is what you want. I want multicolor, this is what you want. I want sound, this is what you want. Like <laughs> literally every single feature that a consumer wants is in this fireplace. That's why I'm so excited about it because it checks every box and that's what's important is listening to the consumer needs and figuring out what they want. Now, this, like I said, the slim unit, differences with the slim is it's gonna be shallower. So you're, you're not gonna have as big of an ember bed. So your logs are gonna be a little tighter in there. And then it has more of a frame around it. So it's, and that's so it can fit in like a standard two by six wall. What's nice about this is only eight inches deep. So it's not like a full foot deep. And then of course the slim only has a 110 heater. And of course you can't do open corner cause it's a slim unit. And I forgot to mention, of course this isn't installed in the wall, but your finishing material is gonna come to here. So when this finishes out, it's gonna be super clean face design like it's built in here. And of course that's gonna look a lot better built into the wall than the way we have it here. So as soon as we get this built in, it's gonna look all the better, I think, cause it'll be a nice clean face, face finish like that European home unit. And I really hate to say this, but um, I think this is gonna steal a lot of sales from all the other brands because of what I just said. People buy the European home for the realistic logs. Well, this has realistic logs. People buy the Ignite Bold cause it, or the Ignite and the Ignite Bold cause it has a 220 heater and it has that nice reflection in the background. This has that. Some people buy uh, the European home for the Wi-Fi. This has the Wi-Fi. Like it's doing everything. And it has like the most realistic flame. Put that flame against that flame. I choose this flame all day, in my opinion. And, the, and even if you don't like that, then you just pick a different one. Like none of these other ones, you can't change the actual flame design if you want to. And that's what's so cool. Forgot to mention the glass is pretty tall on this, which is becoming more and more popular. I wanna say it's about 20 some inches tall if I was just eyeballing it. Um, so I'm kind of going on a spiel here. New top five electric fireplace videos coming out because we've been waiting, I've been waiting. So uh, you guys have been asked for a new updated top five electric fireplace, that's coming in. I promise you this is gonna be in there. The Ignite Bolt's gonna be in there. We have the new Optimist and the Multicolor. That's gonna be in there. I better stop, I'm giving away too much. This is gonna be one or two. And uh, I don't wanna give it away. I'll wait, I'll save it. Also, I'm putting a new electric fireplace in my home. You have to wait and see which one I'm doing. Same thing, I'm not gonna tell you. You have to wait and see. Let me know your feedback. I wanna know your consumer feedback on this. This is the 52. 52s are about in stock, ready to ship. The larger sizes are coming shortly. Uh, so if you wanna get on the list, get one ordered because they are gonna go fast because it just looks so awesome. Let me know your guys' feedback. Let me know what you think. We'll see you guys next time.